Hey y'all, hey y'all. I just want to do a quick garden update. Not really a tour, but an update. Um, lots been happening. All right, so I have not been watering much. So there are a lot of things that are gonna have to be taken out. They're dying or I just watered. So maybe some things are perking back up, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna have to start taking a lot of things out. Maybe even some of my sunflowers because I was without an AC for the majority of this past week. I finally bought a new one. And it's fortunately awesome. I mean, well, after not having AC for several days, almost anything feels awesome. But anyway, um, I'm, I've also been battling with my next door neighbor, the owners, they're like landlords, they, they buy houses to rent them. Anyway, they removed a part of my fence without telling me, and I have a dog that could have gotten out at any point today because I didn't realize it. So I'm mad, I'm hot. Anyway, I left them a sign. I'm not gonna show y'all what that sign says. They gonna see it. And I, I welcome to th them to come over here. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so the peppers are in here. I have not de-weeded. I have weeds growing in here. I definitely need to come out and get it. But it, like I said, it has been extremely hot and I didn't have an AC so there was no way in the world I was coming out here to do like do things in heat anyway Jamaican sorrel still looking good here are my these sunflowers I think they're at least a foot taller than the last time um, this cucumber over here is finally kind of dying on its own maybe now it's probably a good time to go ahead and snatch it out so I may go ahead and do that my pepper plants in there they were wilted but i think they parked up well not let me see if i can zoom in and of course i can't let's see i can't zoom in anyway Anyway, I think you can see that wilted. Well, this one's wilted too, just not as bad as the one on the edge. Anyway, this makes me want to go ahead and remove the sunflowers, but definitely gonna go ahead and remove this cucumber since it's kind of shrunk down and is easier to access. But these sunflowers are clearly hogging all the nutrients. <laughs> I mean, they're huge and my pepper plants are still tiny. So I think I may be, I don't know, I hate to, especially right before they're thin to open. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a while because I hate to lose them, but I think they got to go. Anyway, let me go down to Mater. Well, there's not much to see here because this has been pretty neglected this entire summer. It's been too hot. So all I've done is really water them. But I do have these tomatoes. Let me make sure nothing's on them. <laughs> so I have two tomatoes. Um, I should have got some cutters. I'm um, making burgers, so maybe I can use these. I'm not sure what type of t tomatoes these are at this point. I just hope they're good because I don't have any other tomatoes. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I'm almost about to just call all of this a wash. I mean, well, I, I do have this pepper plant. Oh yeah, I was going to do a harvest until I watered and saw how badly everything's doing. <sighs> These sunflowers back here, a good, the main reason I was wanting to get rid of them because they're, you know, I don't know if this is a disease or what, but I mean, they're still blooming. Still nice to have, but these sunflowers actually grow pretty fast. So I can plant them somewhere else by themselves. <laughs> actually, I already have a spot for them. That's the pink bed I made up front. I can go ahead and put them in there or put some, put some seeds in there and probably just go ahead and get rid of the stuff. 
I'm not even, yeah. I mean, I do still have strawberry plants back here, but yeah, I have not cleaned out this bed. It's hot. I feel like just burning all of this. <laughs> but now, after I've invested in a new AC unit, I feel like I need to stay and reap the benefits of that purchase <laughs> for at least a few years. So that kind of, even though I've been wanting to move, I feel like that's like a sign to stay because it's still cheaper to stay, cheaper to keep her than to move. <laughs> but anyway, um, this cucumber is just massive. I will never, ever, ever again <laughs> put a cucumber plant in the middle of any bed that's not just dedicated to cucumbers and yeah <sighs> I have not tackled this mess this massive mess which is hugely weeds now I have onions shallots and I think garlic in here but <laughs> clearly I have a lot of weeds in here I'm so scared to grab at this <laughs> oh ooh, something touched me oh it was just that <laughs> Anyway, I'm not even show y'all the patio side because I was neglecting it entirely and possibly lost my um, whoops, possibly lost my blueberry plant, the new one that I got, that doesn't require pollination or is self-pollinating. So this is where I think I'll put some flowers, and you know it's in the ground. I just gotta add more soil and maybe just drop some seeds. And let them have flowers here, especially since it's close to the porch. I have not done the some um, the um, greenhouse that I want to put up because again it's been hot and I've been just really frustrated. <laughs> but I do want to. I am looking forward to adding that, especially since now I know I'm stuck here for a while longer. But you know it's not horrible. I do enjoy staying here. I just I'm just not enjoying my. The, the owners of the house next door. I'm actually about to send them a letter. Like, do not ever <laughs> remove the pickets in my fence. I pay for that fence. Anyway, it, well, it's because they're like doing things. Anyway, they should have informed me. I shouldn't have to come outside and just happen to look over there and see that, oh, dang. The whole this whole side of the fence is open so my dog can get out and not only can my dog get out any kind of creature can easily just walk in here from their yard and i saw a skunk in the alley last night so no anyway i'm done fussing i hope everybody is staying cool prayers for everybody who's um directly impacted by the hurricanes and the, you know, the power outages and all the things i hope that improves for everybody soon anyway i'm tired it's hot and i'm ready to get back into this good ac all right thanks for watching